students <laughs> and visitors. Uh, my name is Mark Miller. Oh, so the teachers are the Sheldon Cooper, which I'm not because of my facial hair, all the girls love me. I was a um, former senior support unit student and mainstreamer at last year. And um, so I just want to talk to you all about the time when I left high school and moved on to transition of work. So uh, in May 2012, I attended a meeting with my mom, Ms. Quarrel, and Christine Coates about applying for funding for transition to work program to assist me for the next two years, which I had to answer many questions about my daily life and at home and at school with the help of my mum and support. Um, in June, I attended with my other Year 12 support students for the Disability Work Expo at Parramatta Workers, where I met my mother, my teachers and Christine. And we just looked around and showed us what was the best for which agencies, for example, Northcott and Ability Options, etc. etc. Um, after two years of studying for my HSC, which I set for in October last year, I passed. Please, everyone, hold the applause. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I passed, which brought me happiness and relief for myself, my parents and my teachers who got me here. So I thank you, Miss Fall and Miss Gat. Um, some, all of you may have already heard about the Year 12 formal. I know my sister here is looking forward to going, and I hope your kids will have an amazing time like I did last year. Well, let me tell you something. After 13 years of education, this form will just tops it all up. And um, so just just let your kids go, have a good time, go Gangnam Style or something. <laughs> now, I would never be in this position as I am now if it weren't for the help of these wonderful teachers. Um, if it weren't for Miss Quill's teachings, Keeping me positive for the challenges that I was up against, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Mark. Now, um, it is very normal for your son or daughter to feel very upset when they leave school and they, they leave their friends, but it was sort of hard for me too, but when I first started transition of work, um, I, started, I made plenty of friends on the first week. And um, you also get involved in many activities. You also make up your goals to leading up to employment and stuff. And also get involved in social groups as well, like go to the movies, hang out and stuff like that. And your girlfriends. Yeah. <laughs> now at the moment I'm doing my driving lessons, which is making me more independent and. Shortly I'll be doing work experience at Baxter's Pharmaceutical. Now as I've become more independent with my journey, I've, ta I've taken since leaving high school, my parents have let me make my own decisions on making activities and that has helped me as I get older for my future. And, and I thank you, Mum, and Dad who's not here, for always being there for me and haven't sheltered me. They have prepared me for big, for the bigger world, not keeping me in cotton wool. So don't keep your kids wrapped up in cotton wool for the work all the time. Just just give them a chance. Give them a chance to be independent with lives. It's it's a really good experience. Especially outside school. And I thank, I thank you all for letting me speak here tonight. And I would again like to thank Ms. Paul and Ms. Gat. You can pay me after the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> for being the true person to pave the way for my future. And I couldn't have done it without you all. So I thank you all. Thank you, Mike. Would you like to say where you are? What service provider are oh, you? Um, and, and what's good about it? 
At the moment, I'm at North Cot, which is a very good facility, which, um, which, um, you sort of, like, you're like your own boss, like, you don't get to, like, call staff, teachers and stuff. You could, they also help you out, um, what you want to do in life and what opportunities you, and what jobs you want to get. Mm -hmm. So about goals, you could, like, build them up and, um, I forgot what we have to do after that. But also on the very first day, my co-worker Peter, I had to, like, learn to catch a public bus on my own, which was pretty good. And to this very day, I catch a public bus every, every time I go to TDW. So... Pretty, you also get to catch trains on your own as well. So, yeah. Good evening, teachers and parents and visitors. My name is Aaron, currently studying at Northcott, which is located in North Parramatta. I attend, I attend North Court for three days per week. Wednesday is the usual is is free day. It runs from 9:30 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. I in order for me to get to North Court, I first take the bus that leads to Paramount Station. I spent two two dollars fifty for the return trip, and also I did. Travel training as well with pedal. Next, once I arrive at the Paramount station, I then I take the free loop. I then ride the free loop bus, which stops at the Paramount Leagues Club. Once I arrive there, I then walk to Northcourt, which is about four to six minutes walk. We also on, on lunch times, which starts at twelve thirty runs for an hour, we have a kitchen. We have also the toaster, the fridge, the microwave, and the toaster. However, the TTW stuff are strict on kitchen cleanliness. You, you can also buy some takeaway foods as well, either from the KFC or in the Macros by walk for about 5 to 15 minutes. During the regular school days, school days, I, we, in the morning, well, we have two classrooms, approximately 10 students, a teacher, and a teacher aide per classroom. In the mornings, we, we learn topics of life skills and work skills such as budgeting, developing self-esteem, personal safety, and, and preparing a resume and going for an interview. Some TTW students are enrolled either to TAFE or work experience. The t each, t each student are, are, are linked with two have their own key worker, such as for me, I'm with pedal. On the afternoon, we work our own independent work. As for me, if I want to work in the office environment, I work I, I work on the data filing, type testing, and also the preparation for an interview with the TTW staff. During our, during the school holiday, the TTW staff and the coordinator, like Helen out there, organize the the holiday programs such as the laser tag, laser tag and tempin bowling, the movie movie days, and also eateries. Dur and also our last last holiday. We went to Parramatta Park. There we played we played some sporting such as cricket. 
and also during the lunch we also had free BBQ sausages for lunch and also we also went to the Seven Hills RSL buffet for eatery days we, we were often accompanied by the TTW staff and its aides I am enjoying the the new company of my new, of new friends and also Northcott itself and the TTW staff they are dedicated they are supportive and are committed to their own work like Miss Squaw <laughs> oh Miss... you too <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Gat oh, <laughs> Mr. Edwards <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Barcliff and also Miss Clem. It's like a happy Christmas family extension. <laughs> I hope I hope to see you at North Court on next year. Thank you. And another mention, if your child is a fan of the Parramatta Eels, North Coast is right behind their house club. So don't be surprised that when you're on the streets, you'll see an Eels player walking by. It's only about two minutes walk. Parramatta Stadium. One thing I failed to mention when I, I spoke earlier was probably something that could be very important to many of you now is that the facilities are just down here. <laughs>